All right, C. Lindelof videos. Your TI Inspire cast and matrix equations. So I just took this random matrix equation and I'm going to show you how to solve it using your TI Inspire cast. It's actually not difficult at all, so I'm just going to try this one problem. So here we have this matrix times X is equal to this matrix over here. So if you think about how you would solve this just on paper, you would multiply to get rid of this, to move this over, to isolate X. What you'd want is to use the multiply the right hand side by the inverse of this matrix right here. Okay? So that would look something like this, wouldn't it? That would look like this. I isolated X by multiplying the right hand side by the inverse of the left hand matrix. So the inverse. So what does that look like on your TI Inspire cast? Well, it looks like this. Go to my cast. <clears throat> I'm gonna go to menu. I'm gonna choose number seven. If you see it says matrix and vector. Seven, then I'm going to choose one for create, choose one again for matrix, right? And if you remember, the first matrix that we are going to use, the left-hand matrix, is a two-by-two two matrix, and that's what it always defaults to. So I'm going to start with that one. I'm going to put it in just the way I had it, which was four. As I put the elements in, just hit tab, so negative two, so negative two, tab, so negative seven, right? Negative seven, tab. Two. Now, this is the part that gets a little bit important. So, take your right hand cursor right here. So, you see the cursor is now outside the matrix. And then, what you want to do is hit the exponent caret here. And then, we're going to raise it to the negative first power. Your calculator will recognize that you're asking for the inverse of this matrix. Really important here is to hit the right tab again. So this now the cursor is this whole bar here. Otherwise it would have stayed up in the exponential part and it would have come off bad. And I'm just going to add the second matrix, right? And that one is this one. So I'm going to hit to go back to menu, remember? Hit 7. We're going to create, so that's 1. Now look, remember it, it defaulted to 2 by 2. In this case we want two rows but only one column. So I'm just going to tab down to this hit back, hit one, hit OK, or just enter. All right? Now I'm going to put that matrix in, which was negative 6, 12, so negative 6, tab 12. Check this out. And there's your answer. So the answer to that, to this, to the original question that we started with, which is this one here, right, is the matrix X is equal to the matrix, negative 2, negative 1. All right? I think that was really easy. What I would say to you is to find some worksheet that has a bunch of matrix equations that require inverses and just do one after the other after the other after the other just to get in good practice because the only thing that's going to screw you up is the keystrokes on this. So I hope this was helpful. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. And you know your comments are always welcome. Thanks, guys.